Bless the Nasa, everyone, or Lamas. Today, we're doing a little uh, Witchy Wednesday segment where I'm gonna do a little spell preparation with y'all. I'm not gonna actually do <laughs> spell work with y'all, but I will be doing some prepping. I wanna do a little bit of, maybe some explanations as to what my intentions are and what I'm gonna be doing with the spell because right now, it's a time for manifesting. It's a time for celebrating the first harvest, so we just need to celebrate it in any way that we can. Or so, I'm gonna celebrate it a little bit today by doing some manifesting, maybe a little bit of meditation, and some spell prep. So I figured I would take you guys along. This is my little Lunasa setup right here. I won't be showing my personal altars, but this is my setup that I have going for the time being. I'm gonna light a candle right here. It's my ice blueberry biscotti, uh, something kind of harvesty. This is the most harvesty candle I think I have at this moment. So we're gonna just light that, start the day off by lighting that. Now I may light these later on in the night, but I'm gonna grab a key ingredient for my spell prep, which is the citron, if you can see that. And then we're gonna go into my actual room and get everything prepped. I'm gonna light some incense and it's gonna be a good time. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I just went ahead and lit some incense. Don't mind the bed, I haven't made it yet. I just linen but anyways so I'm gonna cleanse my space cleanse my areas that I'm gonna be working with I have my candles pre-lit already I'm gonna meditate you know ask for protection and everything and put out some really positive energy and intentions for what I'm gonna do because we need all the luck and success and things that we can get so that's what I'm doing pulled out a book of correspondences and I'm gonna have some associations with um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out herbs and everything that's associated with Lunasa if you want I could tell you a little bit of fun facts Lunasa or Lamas um, solar system related to it is the moon the moon phase is wanting some correspondences that go with it are brown like reddish brown gold orange purple or yellow the season, summer. Trees, the acacia, apple, myrtle, oak, or rowan. The herb and garden, blackberry, bramble, gorse, gorse. Miscellaneous plants, aloe, ginseng, and grain. Gemstones and minerals. Citron, which is what I grabbed earlier off my other altar. Diamond, yellow diamond, or peridot. Goddesses associated with Venus or Lamas. I apologize in advance if I say this wrong. Ain, Aine, Ceres, Ceres, Demeter, Ereshkigal, Freya, Frigg, Inanna, Ishtar, Kor, and Persephone. Kor, Persephone. So, the gods Dumuzi, Dumuzi, Lug, Odin. The animal, cattle, bull, or calf. And then the bird is the chicken or the rooster. The issues, intentions, and powers for this um, for this season or this holiday, I should say, is accomplishment, agriculture, challenges, darkness, death, endings, release, and transformation, or manifestation. Like some of this, it's only like a partial correspondence. Everybody has different correspondences uh, to it and what it means to them. I'm celebrating it in the aspect of manifestations and reflecting on all the good that I have done or all the um, progress that I've made and I'm just going to try to further progress what I'm going to be. Just trying to further progress what my goals are and setting my attention out there. I'm really big on manifestation so that's what we're doing today. So let me get some herbs and things associated what I'm gonna do and then I'll be back and to show you guys what I'll be doing okay so I'm back now um, I have it angled closer to my space now so the ingredients that I decided to use I got bay leaves I got rose petals 
I'm using the bay leaves to kind of set my intention further. I'm gonna write my intention on the bay leaf, which I already went ahead and did. Um, and then rose petals. I'm trying to throw a little bit of like some self-love flair into it. So I kind of, I just like roses for anything love related, sensual. I feel like it's also for me, I like to use it in a lot of my successful rituals and just my daily routines and things like I just I love rose I have some mint some thyme leaves some basil and then I have my oil that I made myself and had blessed I also am going to use some sea salt for purifying and cleansing and then the candles of my choice I'm using a green one for luck like money things and I'm using a yellow one for success probably should have put energy on it as well but those are my two I'm gonna actually do two today and then I have green adventuring which is really good for money and like luck as well citron I like to use I'm gonna use it for manifesting I'm gonna use it for like energy and I'm also gonna use it for a little bit of like luck and success manifestations I also have some peridot because that's what it said that we could use as a correspondence and that's also um, a good offering for Lady Persephone as well. So that's my ingredients. I'm gonna just, oh, and then I do have some spearmint leaves in case my mint, I guess I didn't want to do mint. I already went ahead and put my, some of my ingredients in my mortar and pestle because I'm gonna grind them up. And once I use this oil right here, I'm gonna put that to dress my candle and I'm gonna use the rest to actually fully dress it. And then I'm gonna charge my candles with my oil as well. Now, everybody has a different way of doing things. This is just what I do. There's, I'm sure there's many different ways to do it. However, this is what I'm doing today. I also have my incense that's almost fully burnt out. But I'm going to go ahead and first things first, we're going to sprinkle my ingredients on here. So, go ahead and zoom in on that. If I can zoom in anymore. right here I'm gonna start with my salt actually just gonna do like a handful of salt sprinkle it around sprinkle it around Before I forget to, I'm going to go right ahead and put my little candlestick holders on here as well. Some people, sometimes if I'm feeling frisky, I'll just put the candle right on the metal plate, but we're going to use those today. I'm going to go ahead and just put my spearmint. We're going to add some thyme. I'm going to sprinkle probably like three pinches. Actually, I didn't add spearmint. I just added salt. But I'm going to do three pinches of each just because I feel like it's fitting. Let's go ahead and do some spearmint. Now, you just kind of go off of what you feel like you need done. I'm just doing what works for me. And while I was away, I even... Um, I even went ahead and wrote me a little something, thing, something like my own little personal spell for my manifestation tactic. And I did a little bit of a meditation trying to wholeheartedly just visualize everything that I could possibly desire coming, you know, coming to me. I'm just visualizing it just already being at my grasp and that really helps. I'm going to go ahead and place my citron. I think I'll do what feels right. Citron here. We're going to do citron right here and we're going to do green adventuring right here as my sort of like drawing basis. I may look for a tarot card of sorts in a minute. Oh, I forgot to do my roses. I'll sprinkle a little bit of this on here. I have a little 
whole little apothecary section. I got a bunch of things, so let's check out some of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of Peridot. I don't wanna use all of it because it's a very small vial of sorts. So we're just gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit around and show a little bit. So, then my bay leaves. Success and luck, right there. Make sure that it's, we'll go ahead and fix that one. Sharpie. Like that. And then that's when I go up and I decide to go ahead and grind my ingredients together. I'm gonna dress my candles. Let me grab a tissue real quick. Not a tissue, um, I'm gonna grab my rag. So now, pretty much, I'm gonna put this oil on, dress my candles accordingly. And then I have my spell. I may speed through this part, but we'll see. Sometimes I'll just literally roll the candle in it. Today I'm just going to do a little bit of a sprinkle situation like that. part where I go in and do my own personal stuff like I'm gonna maybe like meditate for a little bit um, just kind of get myself relaxed and then I'm just gonna light my candles and just you know you can pray um, just think of things to be thankful for it's kind of <laughs> it's not Thanksgiving but you know think of things like think of how far you've come just man like just imagine like the success and things flowing through you and put that energy into the candles and I know it sounds probably a little sus for people that don't do this and this is again I'm just showing you what I do I'm not telling anybody to do any type of thing your beliefs are your beliefs your rituals are your own rituals I'm just doing what I do and I'm it, I feel like it works for me, so I just, as I envision things, I'm a big believer in manifestation um, and making things happen. Some things can, may take longer than others, but I definitely can feel things that I grasp. So I'm just gonna put some good energy out there and I'm just gonna envision a successful, like a very successful month, a successful harvest, because we do have a garden. Successful kitties, you know. Um, and just overall, like, successful rest of the year. I'm just going to envision a lot of good things. Because I just, you know, it doesn't hurt to have good energy put out there. It doesn't hurt to do things that make you feel better. And that make you feel like you're doing something. Now I am. I'm working hard. But this is a little something I'm going to do. I may even do, like, a little reading on myself before I do this as well. We'll see what happens. I'm just, yeah, it's lit. Well, it's set up. Then all I gotta do is just light it. 
and I'm just gonna sit here. It usually takes, I think, like an hour and 30 minutes to burn. It just depends on, like, a lot of factors, of course, but it usually takes around an hour, an hour and a half to burn these down, and it's pretty nice. Um, I think it's fun. I'm going to probably light my family candle for my ancestors as well, and just give them some life updates and I might light my other two candles on my my altar that I showed you out there and yeah pretty much that's how I'm gonna probably spend the rest of my night I might go outside and gaze at the moon for a little bit just just be under the moonlight cause it's definitely been it's been a very crazy week and the moon is full so Say what you want, but when that moon is out, they, they ain't lying about the crazies or the metaphysical, so, in my opinion. Anyways, I just want to thank y'all for taking the time to watch this video. I'm calling this segment Witchy Wednesdays. I don't have anything too exciting. Well, this is exciting for me, but I don't have anything, like, adventurously exciting at the moment. I will, like I said, I will be doing some pack with me video because I have a vacation coming up in like four weeks. So once all of my things come in, I'm going to do a packing video. If I don't get to that next week, then you'll probably get another Witchy Wednesday or something. It may not be this exact same thing, but maybe I'll do a tarot reading or something. Or if you have any suggestions... I know everybody has different methods to do things, or if you want to see me try certain things, or if you want any advice on anything, I'm more than happy to help. I'm just going to be here and, like I said, get myself a little bit more put together. I'm wearing this cute little dress. <laughs> I'm wearing this cute little dress. I don't know if you'll be able to see it from afar. Got it off sheen. Got the little leg. I can't see the whole thing, I guess, but yeah, this is my outfit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time. My little kitty just burrowed himself on top of my shoebox. Look at how cute he is. Oh my goodness. I think that's a great ending note. I just want to let y'all know. Um, thanks for watching. I try to have a video out every Wednesday. I can't do a packing video yet. For sure, we'll do another Witchy Wednesday. So just stay tuned, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>